Hello, did you know that your body or joint pain and chronic fatigue can alert you that something is wrong with your diet or lifestyle? Well, in this video I'm going to talk about the 7 foods that inflame your body the most. And at the end of the video I'm going to talk about anti-inflammatory foods. Those you should eat freely, they are healthy and beneficial for your body. If you feel a lot of pain, by introducing these foods into your diet, you can avoid using anti-inflammatory drugs from the pharmacy, which can raise blood pressure, cause kidney problems, damage your liver and much more. So if you're tired, sick or inflamed, this video will help. Chronic inflammation, which we don't realize, slowly damages our body and can be the cause of many diseases, such as heart attacks, strokes, cancer, dementia, diabetes, kidney disease and even fatty liver. I guarantee that you will greatly improve your quality of life and remove this inflammation within you. And this content is essential for your health. Watch to the end. Let's go. Chronic and systemic, i.e. whole body, inflammation is a serious health problem that can be worsened, or improved, by diet. We have 7 types of food that can increase inflammation. You see, it's no good just introducing anti-inflammatory foods into your diet. No, you must remove those that also cause inflammation. Which foods cause inflammation in your body? 7th food, one of the most inflammatory foods are sausages and processed meats. What are they? We're talking about sausages, sausages, salami, ham, bacon, mortadella, hamburgers and nuggets. A lot of delicacies, aren't they? According to the World Health Organization, the consumption of processed meat is considered carcinogenic and is classified in group 1 of carcinogenic substances. What does this mean? There is solid evidence of an increased risk of cancer, especially of the intestine and stomach. They are on the same level as substances such as asbestos, diesel smoke and cigarettes. To place them in this group, the OMS analyzed more than 800 scientific publications. And there are those who think, sausage, I've given up on them, mortadella, I don't even like it that much. But here comes turkey breast. Even though it's white meat, it's on the same list of foods that cause cancer, due to the inflammation caused by nitrates and nitrites, present in these foods, which form nitrosamines in the body, increasing the risk of cancer. Can I eat them occasionally? Yes, it won't be a big problem for most people. The big challenge is to consume these foods constantly, day after day. Just to illustrate, the consumption of a single sausage, 50 grams of processed meat, increases the risk of bowel cancer by approximately 20%. Sixth food, foods that cause inflammation in the body include refined carbohydrates, and here we have the sausage roll again. But what are refined carbohydrates? They are those that contain refined flour, removing fiber and nutrients, such as white rice. Products such as bread, cakes, pies, dreams and sweets from the bakery can cause inflammation due to their high glycemic index, which causes a rapid rise in blood sugar levels. To avoid this, it's a good idea to choose healthier options such as whole wheat flour, which contains wheat bran and germ, oats, rye flour, linseed flour and buckwheat flour. There are many interesting alternatives. Fifth food that causes inflammation, sweets. Excessive sugar consumption is one of the causes of obesity and inflammation. Sugar, whether demerara, brown or refined, inflames. It's important to be aware that many products in the supermarket contain added sugars, such as cookies and sauces. Sugar provides empty calories and no nutrients. Like refined wheat, it increases insulin and can lead to various complications, such as the advanced glycation process, which causes collagen stiffening in the skin, wrinkles, stiff joints and even heart problems. It's not easy, but you need to reduce your sugar intake, gradually adjusting your taste buds. Small changes make a difference. Adapting to sugar-free coffee, for example, can be achieved over time. Fourth food that inflames the body, vegetable oils. I don't believe that vegetable oils are that harmful, although frying is not the best option. The problem lies in excess. This unbalanced consumption of omega-3 and omega-6 can cause inflammation, especially due to the change in animal diets, which have been fed grains rich in omega-6. The balanced ratio of 1 to 1 between omega-6 and omega-3 has been lost, reaching places where the ratio is 20 to 1. The omega-6 present in vegetable oils such as corn, sunflower and soybean is considered inflammatory, while omega-3, found in deep water fish such as salmon, sardines, trout, tuna and anchovies, is anti-inflammatory. And olive oil is also a healthy choice. Third food that inflames, trans fats. These fats, which come from vegetable oils that have been hydrogenated, have not disappeared. They are present in microwave popcorn, snacks, potatoes, ice cream, margarine, cakes, pies, cookies and frozen meals. 
Trans fats not only have a negative impact on cholesterol, raising LDL and lowering HDL, they also activate inflammatory pathways in the body. When reading labels, it is essential to avoid products containing hydrogenated, partially hydrogenated or trans fats. Second inflammatory food, alcohol. Although red wine contains resveratrol, alcohol, when consumed in excess, can inflame the liver, leading to conditions such as alcoholic hepatitis and cirrhosis. Alcohol also alters the intestinal microbiota, makes the intestine permeable and weakens the immune system. In addition, there are risks of addiction, affecting family and social relationships. The first and worst foods on the list are ultra-processed foods. These foods contain excess sugar, bad fats, lots of salt, refined carbohydrates, and processed meats. They also contain preservatives and additives to enhance flavor, color, and texture. Avoiding ultra-processed products such as frozen meals, packaged snacks, breakfast cereals and soft drinks is key to maintaining good health. In addition to eliminating inflammatory foods, it is crucial to adopt healthy habits, sleeping well, staying hydrated, avoiding smoking, managing stress and exercising regularly are all important measures. Maintaining a healthy weight is also essential, as abdominal fat can contribute to inflammation. Adopting an anti-inflammatory diet is crucial to reducing inflammation in the body. Include more fruit in your diet, especially those rich in antioxidants, such as strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries, which contain anthocyanins with anti-inflammatory properties. Tomatoes, rich in lycopene, and fruits such as guava and papaya are also great options. Increase your intake of vegetables such as cabbage, broccoli, spinach and Ora Pro Nobis, which are rich in antioxidants and help fight inflammation. Include seeds such as chia, linseed, and walnuts in your diet, as they are sources of omega-3, which is known for its anti-inflammatory properties. Don't forget extra virgin olive oil, which contains antioxidants and monounsaturated fats, including oleic acid, which reduce inflammation and contribute to heart health. Green tea and cocoa-rich chocolate are also allies in reducing inflammation. In addition, add garlic and spices such as turmeric, ginger, bay leaves, cinnamon and rosemary to your diet. These ingredients have anti-inflammatory properties that can help maintain good health. Remember, small changes in your eating habits and lifestyle can make a big difference. It's not just about living longer, it's about having a higher quality of life, with more energy and well-being. Be a positive example to those around you by promoting healthy choices and taking the best possible care of your body. Always remember to consult a health professional for personalized advice, especially if you have pre-existing medical conditions. Did you like the video? If you liked this video content, click the like button to help spread the word, as many people have body aches and inflammation and this video will help get rid of inflammation and body aches. And you can also share this video on your social networks to help reach more people, and subscribe and activate the bell, because on this channel we learn how to take care of our greatest asset, which is our health. And tell me, do you feel very inflamed and in pain? And what part of the United States or the world are you from? Tell me in the comments. Your comments are very important to us and can help many people take care of their health. I'm going to share two relevant recommendations here that are popping up for you. My playlist on the silent threat of the liver and my video on 10 foods that naturally increase collagen production. Thank you very much for following me to the end and let's promote everyone's well-being together. And see you in the next video.